Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today we are doing another Subnautica tutorial. Now today we are going to be finding nickel ore. That's an ore that you can find down in the in the deep parts of the ocean in the game. Now you only actually need 13 nickel ore to complete the game and you find it in the Lost River and you can find it in one of two ways. You can either find it on the land or in the sort of green bile that you find down there and we're going to be finding it in the green bile today so what you're going to need is a cyclops and also a well a prawn suit with the grapple arm and the drill arm so i'll link tutorials to get to those two things down in the description i'll link the drill arm and the grapple arm in the description but yeah those are the only two things you really need so the prawn suit is the main thing you're going to need with the drill arm and the grapple arm and the the cyclops is just a a sort of backup but i would highly recommend getting it because of warpers and stuff and and just generally better safety than than the prawn suit I also get a depth module to make sure but anyways we're gonna head down and find this nickel ore so when we're heading out with the cyclops what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to head towards the blood kelp entrance right near i think it's 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 right near the jelly shroom entrance right over here so that's something yeah so head towards the jelly shroom entrance and then that will be fine so yeah head towards the blood kelp entrance just opposite here you'll be heading west towards the blood kelp entrance so head west and you should hit the blood kelp entrance anyways the reason why you go down with the cyclops and not something like the sea moth or just the prawn suit by itself is because you can carry you can carry the um the prawn suit down with you and then you can drop it off somewhere and also warpers will not affect you in this i've completed this game so the warpers won't affect me anyway but if you're going down and you haven't gotten the cure yet I would strongly recommend bringing the, the Cyclops down with you because it will help you. So yeah, anyways, make sure to bring the Cyclops down and just make sure to not hit anything when you're on your way down. And if you see like a dart, like, oops, I think I, I think we're stuck. Let me just, let me just cycle the camera. There we go. We just have to surface a little bit. Yeah, just be careful when you go down here. You can get stuck on things, so just be wary of that. But we're going to head towards... Keep going straight, like, towards about this area. And then once it starts going deep, head down towards this area right here, where, like, you see all the blood kelp here. And then I'll just speed this forward and show you guys what to do from there. As you can see, we've now reached the, well, we've now reached this area, which is the Lost River. So, what you want to do is just head forward, really. That's all you really need to do. So, head forward, and I'm actually, I've not really been down this section of the Lost River in a while. So, I'm going to need to use the sonar, which is a very, very useful thing to use, by the way. I recommend you get this for any mission that you go down here for. So... Just make sure not to use it too much though, because it does drain all of your power from the uh, the Cyclops. So just make sure to only use it if you're lost. But anyways, we're now heading down towards um towards the area. Now what we can do is disembark, but I would recommend not doing it yet. I recommend only doing it when we have like the skeleton visible. Just mainly because of those crab creatures that spawn here, like these guys over here. Make sure to not run into them, because they will kill you. And they will, like, try and attack not only the Cyclops, but they'll also try and attack your prawn suit. So just make sure to not let them get in your way. There's also other outcrops and stuff here, like, you see there's some titanium outcrops. There's also gel sacks down here, if you're looking for aerogel down here. That's a really helpful thing. But anyways, make sure to pivot towards these air vents right here and we're gonna head down and we see the skeleton is in sight now so what we're gonna want to do now is head very slowly 
and make sure to just look out for anything. Yep, see? The creature's attacking us, but don't worry about it. Make sure to just keep going. If a creature attacks you, keep going. They can't really catch up unless, like, you're going really slow, but they should leave you alone once you get far enough away. Right, so now what we want to do is park our submarine somewhere. So what I would recommend doing here is getting low down to at least some piece of land. All right, now, now what we can do is disembark. I'm going to turn off the... I'm going to turn off the engine so it saves power and it doesn't, like, do anything with us. So, now we're going to... Uh-oh, it's insufficient docking clearance. So, yeah, that's another thing. Make sure... <laughs> make sure to have enough room to, well, let your prawn suit get out of the Cyclops. So, I'm just going to surface a little bit. And now I'm going to try again. But, the thing I'd recommend doing is just making sure you have enough room... So your prawn suit can get back up to the Cyclops. Because you can get lost here. So anyways, you want to head into the green bile. And this I strongly advise. Do not go down with your like just normal swim suit. Whatever you have on in the game. Just don't go down normally. It will, it will slowly kill you. Well, there's lithium outcrops here if you ever need to find them. And there's also crystalline sulfur. Now... If you have just the hand on the on the pawn suit, then you can just use that to grab the crystalline sulfur. But we're looking for nickel ore, so we need the drill arm. And it, it's a rare spawn, but oh, I think we found something. <gasps> Would you look at that? A nickel ore outcrop. So we're going to drill this now, and oh, I don't think it's working properly. So if you see sparks flying off like this it means it's going to drill it and it's going to deposit it so i'm just going to speed this footage up so that this drills fully all right from that outcrop i got 11 nickel so that should be well more than enough for most people and i'm not going to go looking around for more but you you can if you want when you find this so we've gotten enough nickel right now and it is safe to swim out here just don't go into the screen bit here it will kill you unless you have like 50 med kits i would ha strongly not recommend um strongly not recommend going into the into the bile i think it's called anyway but yeah so we've just done that make sure to drink some water from time to time hello aquarium but yeah, we've gotten our nickel, and if you're wondering where it goes, up in the storage, it's right here. So we're just going to transfer all of this right here into our inventory, and then we can just store this in the Cyclops. Or you can just have it in your inventory, I don't mind, whatever you do want to do with it. It's your nickel, it's your adventure. Anyways, just make sure you have enough storage for it. So I'm just going to dump it in here, because there's storage in here. Anyways, yeah, so... That's where you find nickel ore. It's actually very simple, but you do need a lot of things for it. If you're wondering how to get the drill arm and the grappling arm, I will leave a tutorial in the description for that. And also, you will need the Cyclops. I would highly recommend getting the Cyclops for this. And now, just to get out, just try and follow a path that you went. Just head backwards and then just get out, really. And then head towards back towards your base. Or at least to say shallows. And yeah, I'll just do that and I'll speed this footage up. Or at least skip to where I get to the end. Alright, and now we're back home and dry near our base. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I will be making more Subnautica tutorials maybe in the future. I have a plan to do Kyanite next, which is another hard material to get. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, leave a comment and also share with your friends if you'd like. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Peace.